Now that all of our images have been collected from the various scans on target, this Python program, which has been written by Dr. Steve Mitchell and modified for my purposes based on the alternate collection style which I've employed, will then collect all the pixel range data from each image taken in a data set, which as a sample image looks just like these. Uh, as the slider translates up the track, collecting data image by image. This um, Python code will then translate that range data into a text file for later use in MATLAB program. Each scan is given a unique name. This one is the left side or driver side, so I've assigned it that name. And those individual text files will be read in by the MATLAB code shown here. This MATLAB code is used to import the various scans and assign them XYZ coordinates, and they're scaled um, and translated in different coordinate schemes so that the scans line up. Each one of the scans was taken at a slightly different range and a slightly different angle oriented to the target, so each one needs to be scaled and modified so that all the, um, the three independent point clouds which I've used will line up to give a coherent uh, image. And then each one of these um, different XYZ coordinates is plotted on top of each other, and I can go ahead and show you that now. Uh, in the first image, you have all three scans that are um, combined, but each one has a different color, so you can tell them distinctly separate. Um, the left side scan is in red, the rear scan is in green, and the front scan is in blue. In the next image, you see all three are in the same color, so it gives a little bit more coherent. And here we can pick out some of those important features that I had talked about earlier. Uh, one of which is both hands bound in the back, as well as you can see some of the facial features and some of his hair, as you can see his nose and eyes on the front, as well as the muscle definition in his arms, sides, front, and rear. Um, you can see the arrows of the base right here, as well as the rope around his waist and hands, which are binding him, which are visible right here. Um, I think the clarity and definition that I achieved using this collection method are very, very good. And I think that with a little bit of refinement, this collection method could be very, very useful, although it does require a bit of additional time because the sensor has to have a certain amount of time to collect image data and then translate, so it cannot run continuously. Thank you very much.